This is John from PowerYourself.com. I wanted to give you an update here on the, the mid, this is like uh, basically stitch welding. So you can see what I did is I just went and started um, at the edge and you fill in, uh, basically go from tack to tack and you skip one so that there's a space of unwelded material um, in between each of these tacks. And what that does is it's so that you don't ever go over a spot that's been welded without flux. So now that I've finished connecting one tack and jumping to the next, I'll flip it over, reflux the whole back side, and then go ahead and come back in and just connect these, these tacks. And the best way to do it is actually if you start, um, if, if you're right-handed, you would start you know, over on this edge, you would do this one, then jump backwards, do this one, because the heat will tend to propagate in the way that you move the torch. So I'd be moving from right to left here, um, and I'd go ahead and then jump and skip back. And actually what I do is then I'll jump over here, jump way over here, and then you just keep jumping back and forth on the different tacks um, so you don't warp it. You can see that there's very little warping out of plane. Um, let me show you where I did have a little bit of an issue. Uh, if I scroll over to here, let me pan down a, a, a little bit, uh, see if I can zoom in on this part right here. So right here, I had blown a hole when I was laying tacks um, basically, I had I was having a real hard time. It, it looks like my, my regulator, my argon regulator, um, was doubling in, in flow rate, which is really bad for, for a TIG torch. It pro causes hard start problems, and it made my, uh, my, my previous videos very difficult. But um, I put on the Everlast uh, flow meter. I actually had bought an external Smith flow meter, and uh, the, the Everlast one's on there now. I'm going to send the, uh, the Smith one in back in for calibration and repair. Um, so let me go ahead and I'm going to uh, reflux the back side of this and then I'll continue to, to finish up and restitch in between these. Um, and then once I do that, I'll probably have to reflux it one more time just because there's some places like right, um, let me move this to the right a little bit, like right here where I've got still two gaps in one tack. So I'll fill this and then I'll skip over and do that one. I won't do that. I'll reflux it. Um, and this is just how you keep the back side of the weld nice and clean and it doesn't get uh, black and, and brittle. Uh, so this is, this is the update and uh, I will uh, check back in with you once I've, I've done the next set of stitches. Uh, this is John for PowerYourself.com signing off.